Hey, salute to you, bro. Yeah, man, the Lord's work, man. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. Like, it's rough out here, man. Um, let me, let me go. Let, let's go straight to Philly, man. My man, John Guile, man. My my man on the street in Philly, man. Let's go to Philly, man. Let's. <laughs> Let's start in the Philadelphia, man. In South Philadelphia, a man was shot and killed in an incident that sources say began after the drivers of two vehicles were involved in a minor crash. Things quickly escalated between those drivers and passengers leading to the gunfire. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters. Maggie, the alleged gunman was taken into custody in this case. He was, Sarah. He remained on scene. And now sources tell me that investigators are trying to figure out whether that man was acting in self-defense. And they'll be using surveillance footage to see if his story lines up with what happened there. Two cars facing each other on a one-way street. Evidence markers littered around the vehicles. This, yo, this right here is the equivalent of how gliders, when they tried to like figure out how to break the sound barrier, or when when gliders tried to figure out how to like the the circumference of the earth. <laughs> Well, they just feel like this right here, two sun men in opposing cars right here, that is such a difficult situation for sun men to navigate, man. This is literally like fucking learning how to like splice an atom or Figuring out like fiber optics. When we get confronted with something like this, this situation is so difficult for us. I think most people don't understand that. They say, well, God damn. I mean, it's just like one of you guys back up and let the other guy go, and then you go. Man, for us, man, this is like trigger genoma algebra calculus. This is a huge dilemma for us. We can't we can't figure out how to get out of this without somebody getting hurt. And I think that a lot of people, the fact that people don't know that about us, that we have a a sun man, and this and this is this is this is not saying that some men are dumb. It's just that we don't know how to. When we're confronted with something like this, we can't just take the easy way out. Hey, bro, stick your head out the window. Hey, bro, just back up, man. I'm so I can go through, and then you or you going the wrong way, my man. Or, um, all right, I'm gonna back up, and then you come. Like, it just <laughs> this shit. This shit is like extremely complicated for us, man. footage to see if his story lines up with what happened there. Two cars facing each other on a one-way street. Evidence markers littered around the vehicles. This scene is the focus of a deadly shooting investigation in South Philadelphia. It's every day you hear pop, pop, pop. It's, it's nerve-wracking. Police sources say at some point these two vehicles were involved in a minor traffic accident. One driver drove away from the scene and the other pursued. And that's how they ended up on the 20 hundred block. That's happened to me before, man. Okay. That's happened to me before. Where a son man hit me. I pulled over to get, get out to, you know, exchange information. That motherfucker just drove off. Sped off. That's happened to me several times, man. That's happened to me several times, Jack. One time we chased the guy and we ain't even had no gun. And he stopped his car. He was like, man, stop following me, motherfucker. And I was like, wait a second. I looked at my mouth. I was like, wait a second. We ain't got no gun. 
<laughs> we and we wasn't we weren't even in our neighborhood or anything. We were in another neighborhood on another side of town. I was at a 7-Eleven, dude just backed into me and then hit my front bumper and sped off. He didn't damage the car, but he jostled us and we ain't know because we didn't get a chance to get out and look because he just sped off. So we speed off after him. We're chasing him, whipping through different blocks and shit. Somebody stop following me, motherfucker. <laughs> Vehicles were involved in a minor traffic accident. One driver drove away from the scene and the other pursued. And that's how they ended up on the 2000 block of Mercy Street. A man in his 40s was fatally shot. Sarah Cameron heard the shots just before 11 a.m. and saw the aftermath. He got up, he didn't come his name. I was like, okay, on it, 911. I'm like, this guy's. That's, um, uh, that's the uh, uh, poor, a uh, uh, broke catch me outside. <laughs> that's catch me inside. <laughs> catch me inside, girl. <laughs> shot. Sarah Cameron heard the shots just before 11 a.m. and saw the aftermath. He got up. He didn't come his name. I was like, okay, on it. 911. I'm like, this guy's been shot. Police say the man who pulled the trigger stayed on scene and was taken into custody for questioning. He like shot, shot, shot. And then he ran down the street. So I'm not sure if he like stayed around. Neighbors are left wondering why. This shouldn't happen on this block or anywhere in that matter. There's a lot of surveillance video to go over. Police are doing that now as the mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I was just in Hollywood, Florida and saw too many sun teens on the beach. My spotty senses were tingling. Got up off the beach ASAP. <laughs> I got away and no clue. Yeah, man. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take the reins, man. Honey, what? But but, honey, we're, we're at the beach. No, I, we just got here. You gotta grab her by her arm right here and pinch that shit and give her that look. Let's go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause like, you know, you just don't. You gotta get from around them niggas. <laughs> Um, salute to my man, Oc Nation Hall of Famer, Eric S., man. Salute to Charles S. Charles S. says, ain't much, but you keep me motivated at work. Yeah, salute, man. All the people working right now. Everybody at work right now. Salute to everybody at work. <laughs> yeah, man. Um... <laughs> My man says slavery was a mistake of turn to sit. That was a huge, I mean, listen, man, that was just a huge mistake. But yeah, I wanted to show y'all like this situation that happened in Philly the other day. It's a very like I want to I just think y'all don't understand how hard it is. Only on Fox 29. You should have sympathy for Sun Men. I think y'all, I think a lot of times, I, I think a lot of times I don't, um, <laughs> I don't give people, well, let me drop the link too. I forgot to drop the link. I don't, I, I don't give some men enough uh, mercy. I got to give some men mercy because you got to be, these situations are challenging. They might not be challenging the other groups. Other groups may know just, okay. The, the, the accident get out for us these are very challenging situations man um and i want to be sensitive to that man that sun men we can't handle these situations like normal people like this this happened last year and i just want to show you this just how and this was also in philadelphia right this is in philadelphia too just how hard it is for some men to deal with car accidents man and how like the fact that they run, we run a lot of cities, sun people, sun sisters, sons men. The fact that we run a lot of shit and we're in charge of a lot of shit is absolutely amazing, man. Because we're overcoming a lot of challenges we have. We can't, we just can't problem solve, man. 
Only on Fox 29 tonight, one family story that's way too familiar right now. Their son shot and killed a block from their home. They want answers and justice. And tonight, they may be one step closer. Here's our Seanette Wilson. Philadelphia has always been home to this family, but sadly, they say now might be the time to go. A week after their son was shot to death, they want to know how a car crash ended with him being murdered. <laughs> Cell phone video showing 19-year-old Bryant Hurd Jr. in happy times. I wish I could have that time back. Now, videos showing him full of life are all Bryant Sr. and his wife Cindy have left to remember their only son. The part is gone now that it ain't gonna never come back. Someone shot Bryant to death just after 1 o'clock in the afternoon on April 20th near his only home on Wagner Street. Cold-blooded murder in broad daylight. Police say a 19-year-old, not named by police, was in a white Ford Crown Vic and driving fast on Wagner Avenue when he hit Bryant's Chrysler 300 as he was turning onto Wagner. Police say immediately after the accident, another man came from down the street where he had been fixing a car and shot Bryant several times. It's a tragic ending to a promising life. Monday, he had just took his carpentry union's test for apprenticeship. So he felt good about that. He had an interview on Thursday. He was excited because he knew he was about to get a career going. Earlier on, Bryant had completed both the police and fire cadet programs. The 35th District Advisory Council posted this tribute on social media, calling Bryant a great young man and a very hard worker. Heartbroken, his parents say they kept him from the streets but still lost him. I didn't think I had to worry about him, but because what's going on in the city and, you know, the gun violence, you had to worry. Police right now are only saying this man, Terrence Fleming Jr., from the 5200 block of North Kamak, is wanted for weapons violation concerning this homicide investigation. I know he in a better place. The other 19-year-old involved in that accident had to be extricated from the car and was in stable condition. Meanwhile, still no word on how the person who shot and killed Bryant is connected to all this and no arrest. We all know how to deal with stuff. Like we can't, we can't deal with just regular situations, man. Something the fuck is wrong with us, man. Car crash led to a fatal shooting in Philadelphia's Logan section. The whole thing was caught on camera and police have identified a suspect, but tonight police are hoping you can help them make an arrest. Here is Rick Williams with tonight's Crime Fighters report. Brian Heard II's parents say their son was an aspiring carpenter who was involved with his community. He was a police, police cadet. cadet. He was a fire cadet. He was um, basketball. Yeah, he played basketball on a couple of teams. And basically just an all-out, you know, normal 19-year-old teenager. They say they can't understand what happened to him on Tuesday, April 20th, outside of their house along the 1200 block of Wagner Avenue in Philadelphia's Logan section. They say at 1 p.m. when Bryant pulled onto their street, his car was struck by another speeding car. Please. So look at it. He's pulling onto his street to go home. Look their at the street. Team. His car was struck by another speeding car. Police have this surveillance video as part of their investigation. That accident happened directly in front of the guy who caused the accident's house. So his brother was out there when it happened. That brother has been identified as the suspect in this case, 22-year-old Terrence Fleming Jr. It was after the auto accident that the offender ran over to the decedent's vehicle, shot. This guy was up the street working on a car. He sees the accident and comes over and immediately shoots this guy down. No words exchanged. He just came over and immediately shot Bryant Hurd down. He didn't say, "Hey man, what happened?" Cuz it was clearly his it was clearly his brother's fault that the his the accident was clearly his brother's fault. But he just saw his brother get in the accident and just came over and just bodied the other guy. I mean, he gunned this guy down. He emptied the clip in his face. Because I, I think they're not trying to show all the footage because it's too graphic. 
I tried to find a video with the with the, with the original footage, but this guy stood over Brian Hood and emptied the clip in his face, and then ran down here to try to help his brother, um, who was in an accident, who because his car ended up crashing. That shit was crazy. Twenty-two-year-old Terrence Fleming Jr. It was after the auto accident that the offender ran over to the decedent's vehicle, shot him multiple times, and killed our victim. No questions asked, um, nothing, just shot him. Bryant was pronounced dead at the hospital. The herd say Fleming and his family left the area that same day. And his family just packed up and left the house that day. <laughs> That's crazy. Think about it. You little. This is why people say. You ever heard somebody say there's no such thing as a black community? These people live on the same block. One guy's pulling onto the street. Another guy coming like a hundred miles an hour hits him. He gets out to see what's going on, and the guy's brother who saw the accident from down the street comes down the street in no words ass empties the clip in his face <laughs> Shit, like, there's no such thing as a black community man look at him you see him bent down he and they can't even show you the whole thing he literally emptied the entire clip in that kid's face no words exchanged Yeah, why you make my brother crash, man? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, you, I think you gotta have. It's, it, there's a level of sympathy you have to have for some people, not for the reason that you think you do, not because you know black slavery, no, because we don't know how to solve problems, man. This brother, he didn't know how to come down and be like, um, he didn't know what to do. All he knew was. My brother's car has crashed over here. This is the guy in the other car. Um, let me kill him and then go check on my brother. <laughs> that we don't we can't solve problems, man. We have we have a we have a lot of trouble. We 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 we're not good at that shit, man. We suck at problem solving, man. I mean we're we're dreadful at it. Which makes the fact that you know we're mayors and shit like that ultra like in, insane because it's like CEO, listen, man, we don't know how to solve problems, man. We're not good at that shit. But when a problem arises, man, we're gonna handle it in a way that doesn't make sense to other people. Other people be like, why the fuck you do that? But it's like, yeah. Directly in front of the guy who caused the accident. That accident happened directly in front of the guy who caused the accident's house. So his brother was out there when it happened. That brother has been identified as the suspect in this case, 22-year-old Terrence Fleming Jr. It was after the auto accident that the offender ran over to the decedent's vehicle, shot him multiple times, and killed our victim. No questions asked, um, nothing, just shot him. Bryant was pronounced dead at the hospital. The herd say Fleming and his family left the area that same day. And his family just packed up and left the house that day. Bryant's father says something else bothers him about the suspect. I mean, it was just so senseless for you to just walk up and do that with no remorse and then pick up the shells afterwards, that's telling me that this isn't your first time. The city of... <laughs> he went and picked up the shells. And then just ran back to his house. It was like, and now his whole family got to move and shit. It's just... It's like your whole family had to pick up and move to get away so that you can stay free for a couple of days or a couple of weeks until the fucking 
um, felony apprehension unit come kicking your door wherever you at because they're going to find you. But it's just like, just you created a, such a bigger problem. Now you have to spend like years in a cage until some white people come and fucking say you the judge was racist or uh some you, some some bullshit some white people gonna come up with in like 20 years to say you ain't do it the words that's telling me that this isn't your first time the city of philadelphia is offering up to twenty thousand dollars in reward money and the citizens crime commission is administering a one thousand dollar reward for the arrest and conviction of fleming all you have to do is call the tip line at 215-546-TIPS all calls will remain anonymous. For Crime Fighters, I'm Rick Williams. For Action News, it yeah, man, you gotta have sympathy for something, man. We we not good at solving problems, man. These little small problems arise, and we're like, <laughs> we, just, we, just, we we don't know how to we don't know how to deal. We just can't. We just can't, man. Um. I, I, I'm starting to have sympathy. Am I wrong for starting to have sympathy for some people, um, fisherman? Yes. <laughs> but you do you understand where I'm coming from? You don't you don't feel that same? You don't have sympathy? No. For them? Nope. No? No, you sound like a liberal dog. Oh man, man. Are you are you one of the two SL LMNOP crowd? Nah, man, I'm I'm just trying to I'm trying to, dude. We don't have the ability to problem solve. I don't if know. We, Jackson, Mississippi's doing pretty well. True, but if we had it and we weren't using it, that would be one thing, fisherman. If we had it and we weren't using it, or we were misusing it, that would be a problem. We don't possess it. So we, there's nothing there. There's no cup to pour from. I don't know if you know this, Ock. There's this documentary called Wakanda <laughs> that contradicts that fact. Is that take a care of it? Maybe it's the fact that I got my son man shirt on today, man. Maybe that's why I'm talking like this, man. That's a that's a mighty tight shirt you got on. You sure you're not in that 2SL LMNO QS 47 club? No, this is extra large, man. What you talking about, man? This is how they this is the, how they wear the shirt. This Europeans fit, man. What you talking about, man? Wednesday night, Gray is off. I'm Shari Williams, and we begin with breaking news. One police officer is injured tonight, and multiple young people are in custody after a large group of teenagers disrupted the city.